so excited today, you guys, because I'm making a pasta salad for our get together tomorrow at Victoria's new condo. Um, so yeah, so this is like a healthy meal that you guys can make at home. I'm gonna run you guys through what the ingredients are. So um, I bought a big old two, almost two kilogram thing of, of rotini pasta that's multicolored. You got some sliced black olives right here. Garbanzo bees, which aka are chickpeas, according to Victoria, which they are. They are. <laughs> two bell red peppers, a red onion. I'm gonna use two of these pasta salad seasoning um, packs. And what you do with these is you mix them with like uh, red um, or any type of vinegar you have in olive oil. So that's for that. And then we have some shredded carrot that I'm gonna add in and some delicious dill. And when I used to work at Tour, you guys, I brought this pot, my famous pasta salad twice and the girls loved it there, so I'm sharing my recipe with you. So if you wanna make this at home, go right ahead. Let me know how it tastes. Let me know how it tastes. It's <laughs> like a song. Or I'm gonna spray you with mace. <laughs> I'm gonna spray you with mace, let me know how it tastes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Careful, what if you fell? Okay, so let's get started with the recipe. I'm gonna just get changed really quick. And five, four, three, two, one. And here I am. My mama! My mama trying to get in the video. <laughs> okay, so I have the water boiling right here to throw in our pasta to cook. And then right now I'm just gonna chop up some vegetables and show you guys what I do. Get your knife. Um, are these washed? I'm like, there. I'm honestly not the type of person that washes every single like, fruit or vegetable. And I know that's gross, but... But whatever, Trevor. But I'm still gonna be using some of this. And then you just scoop that shit out. Ow, I just got myself. Careful. <laughs> I'll scoop that dungus out in the middle. I was trying to get her. My mama! And if you have seeds on you, just like rinse. I'm gonna rinse it out. So that it's hollow like that. Now let's do the same thing to this one. Yeah. Damn, 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 damn. 
a tiny little bit of olive oil, you don't need much. Just to coat the pan. Now let's get ready. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh, I forgot to put salt and water. So that should be good. That's like half the pack. So we're gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to the water. This should have been done before I added the pasta, but it's okay. It's alright, you're adding seasoning and whatnot. Yeah, you don't really need that will start to boil up again. So let that cook for nine to 10 minutes. So it's 4.11 right now, and I'm gonna just cook these. See that sweet sizzle? You don't want these to burn, so I'll just put them on medium or low, and slow roast them. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be real good. Ooh, there's a little seed. seedling. I don't really mind seeds in them. Sometimes. Yeah, because the seeds, or think about it, it's like the seeds you eat in like, um, like spicy, what right. call it? Yeah, 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 peppers, spicy peppers. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the red onion now, you guys. Just so I have all my veggies ready. Look at my hot sauces that my dad bought me. <laughs> my daddy hooked it up. What are those peppers on, medium? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna do half of this. Yeah, yeah. I think a full one would be quite too much. Yeah, and I want some of that onion. <laughs> That's why I got a big, huge one. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope I don't cry. You should face it downward so you don't cry. So you take out the outer layer that's like papery and also the layer that's like rubbery. You gotta take that out. So when I want to cut big vegetables, I cut it into directions. So I'm going down this way first. Okay. And then I'm gonna go down this way. This is getting dangerous. We got it. Then, I'm gonna flip it this way. Okay. Okay, and I think I might do another chop, but we'll see. You could add a bit of garlic powder to that if you right. want it to have a garlicky flavor. Mm. The garlic one is the one that's got an apple sticker on top. Okay. And add garlic powder? Yep. Ooh, it's gonna taste good. Oh. And then you can put a bit of even salt and pepper. Yeah, it's a little bit stuck, the salt. <laughs> no, okay, that should be good. And some nice black pepper. You guys, black pepper is honestly my favorite. When I make like Alfredo pastas and stuff, I always put tons of it. It smells really stir good. Stir that shit up like you a shit. Okay, I'm just gonna give them one last. Hot. Okay. Just in case some pieces are bigger. Okay. Okay, now throw your diced onions into a bowl. And honestly, you guys, pasta salad is the easiest thing to make. Because it's just like putting a bunch of ingredients together. Shake. Got a little onion. Ow, my eyes are burning. Okay, let me stir the pasta. Ooh, look at it, you guys. It's so freaking bouncy already. Oh my god, this is heaven. Mm, these are gonna take uh, quite some time to cook just because they're like hard. Yeah. 
Oh, that smells so good. It does. Oh my. Okay, so we're gonna finely chop some dill to add in. And honestly, I'm using a lot because if you don't, the dill would like go bad. So you might as well just use as much as you want now. So they go pickle chips. Come get the filming. <laughs> so you don't really have to rinse them, but it's good to it removes like the extra salt, unwanted salt, and impurities. Okay, I'm gonna throw them in with my onions. Keep them aside. Check on this shit, hold on. Oh, I'll make a mess. Is it sticking? No. This is a non-stick pan. Yeah, from friggin' no frills. The pasta's is gonna be ready soon. Can you try? And you don't wanna overcook pasta salad pasta because it's gonna sit and marinate. I'm gonna take it off the heat now. Okay. What you know about Amarillo? <laughs> what you know about going to Ramsey? I'm gonna strain these olives. So these are already sliced black olives. You know what? I think. I don't think it'll work in there. I think I've tried before at home. You did? Okay, well, we'll do bit by bit. I mean, yeah. you don't have to rinse these, by the way. Okay. I usually do because they have like a gross, sometimes a weird like flavor on it. Okay, all right, then. Bit by bit, and then I'll just add them. Can't resist. These are so good, you guys. Mm. I love all this. Me too. Oh. Every Italian sweetness. Okay, so now, these are all the veggies, and then, should I wash these carrots? No, it probably says on there that they were washed already. Okay, so this stuff will go in. So let me strain the pasta. I hope, I don't think the strainer will be big enough, but. I think that's not <laughs> I'll come back to you guys once it's all cool. I'm gonna do these things. So all you need is half a cup of vegetable oil or olive oil and a quarter cup of vinegar. The flavor. There's one, oops, two, you know 
I'm gonna do like one and a half. Okay, so that's half a cup. It's okay, don't worry. I have a big one. Yes, this is the essence and purity of Italy itself. I think olive oil is actually a Jewish thing, like it's a Jewish, like, like, um, It's like um like they use it a lot in their cooking cookings and stuff in their religious cooking. I think it's something I should have to do with that. Okay, now I'm just gonna find a whisk. You don't have oh wait you I do one. have a whisk. In the first drawer up top. Okay. Do you wanna add the dill in or no? Oh, good idea. So let's add maybe a little more than half the dill and then the red actually yeah, and then that dough will be for the garnishing, but right now this is just gonna go into, this is just gonna go into the seasoning. Okay. So that's your olive oil and vinegar mixture. Okay guys, so the pasta is chilled, as you can see. Um, right now I'm actually separating it because some most of the ingredients I just realized I'm working with like, so I'm just gonna do his portion right here. That's all I get to imagine. Okay, I'm gonna do maybe a couple more like big, big scoops. Yeah, because we need room for all that stuff, right? Yep. Oops. That's mom. Yeah, that should be good for him, right? Yeah. So, for him, I'm just doing shredded carrot and chickpeas. And then some of the sauce. And okay. So, I'm going to pour in right now all our ingredients. We have black olives, red onions, chickpeas, and red peppers. Look at all the colors of the rainbow. Beautiful. I have really bad breath after this. That's the only thing, but so let's give that a good mix. Oh fuck, I forgot the carrot. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's put that for now. If I can toss more, I will. Oh, all these ingredients are gonna give it a nice crunch, a nice texture. Okay. Okay, and now let me just quickly stir these around. I wash my hands, don't worry. That's a oh, sheep. Fuck. Pick so ass. <laughs> After I pick my ass, I'm gonna touch your food. Does he like dill? No. Nope. What? He said it's okay if there's a little bit in the sauce. So don't it. add this to his nope. then. It's going to ours. So let me just pour a little bit of the, sorry. Let me take that out. Let me pour a little bit of this, the seasoning creams on his. And then the rest on us. <laughs> mm -mm. Did I just say seasoning cream? <laughs> well, it is, it is kind of thick. You can take those carrots home because I've got carrots. Okay. Or maybe add more to ours because they like disappeared. Smells yeah, good. let's add. Put the whole bag. Yeah. Or maybe, oh, let's give Andre more. Oh, sorry. Shit. It's okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some more dill. Because dill's the best, you guys. I'm like a pickle monster. My family could never, like, buy pickles. Buy pickles and make them last in our house. Wrap, right, mama! 
She's not listening. She is. She's listening to every word. Okay, so we're gonna carefully stir this up and then this will go into the fridge again. But yeah, you guys, it was really easy to make. It's actually good to have this sit overnight so that all the juices and flavors like seep in. Oh my god, this looks so good. And look how healthy and like colorful that looks. Like imagine you're just going into someone's house and you bring this. Like they would be really happy and if they're not then you need to get some new friends. <laughs> okay, I think it's all stirred up. And remember you guys gotta put this in the fridge for it to chill. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try this essence. Let me get a good grab of everything. So I'm gonna grab my just salivated. Ready? Mm. Oh my god, I'm not even joking, this is so good. <laughs> good, it better I'm be. I'm just over-exaggerating. <sighs> Taste his too. Make sure there's enough seasoning in his. No, man, if I do. Did you mix his properly? Mm -hmm. mm. His is good too? Mmm. Very good. Oh my god, try to try some. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. And if you guys like cooking videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below also what you want me to make next. Um, I know someone said make tacos or make pizza, so let me know your guys' ideas down in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye-bye!